Ronnie, feels like you're done there. We'll do the arms next behind the back. This will take away a lot of my balance and all of my arm usage. So please make this one nice and tight. Show no mercy. It's good. He's a listener. All right, thank you. Now all the straps are in place except for one. <laughs> Melanie. Watching Ronnie do all the work so far. Well, I was anxious. All right, is there right there for me, please? Mm -hmm. Did you dig they pull that strap? <laughs> pull it towards the back and buckle that one very carefully. <laughs> do not follow Ronnie's previous examples. Yeah, you can make it a little bit tighter than that, though. Just a little. <laughs> yeah, a little tighter than that. A little tighter than that. Okay, keep going. I'm starting to embarrass me now. All right, let's go. All right, that's good. That's good. That's fine. All right, that's fine. All right, very good. Are you through? All right, I hope so. You can see it just looks like from the back. It's not funny. No, it's not funny. But before we go any further, how about a big hand for our two new friends for helping us out? Harry Houdini was born Eric Weiss in Budapest, Hungary in 1874. The Weiss family came to America to pursue the American dream of freedom and opportunity. During Houdini's early years as a magician, he fell in love with escapes. Houdini's escapes have been called world famous, some even say symbolic. In every major city, Houdini performed. He would hang upside down over a crowded street and attempt to escape the straight chip. His amazing magic and brilliant showmanship wild people around the world, even President Calvin Coolidge. He's been called the greatest magician of all time, but he was much more than that. Houdini opened his mind to all of his great potential, turned to the same for millions around the world. What I'm about to do is a great photo opportunity, so if you have a camera, please have it ready. This escape tonight poses two threats to me. First, hanging upside down, too much blood could rush to my head, making me fall unconscious. The second, though, is if I was to make too big of a movement, I could possibly loosen my ankle restraints, resulting in a fall of over 30 feet. Tonight, I do this to honor Harry Houdini, who died 79 years ago on Halloween. <laughs> escaping from the straight jet was two minutes and ten seconds. The last show I came very close to beating this record but was unsuccessful. Tonight I'm going to try my best again for you.